Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today's topic is Rich Tax Format, which is popularly known as RTF. The RTF is used to create rich reports using MS Word. So first of all, what is Rich Tax Format? It is a file format that lets you exchange text file between different word processor in different operating system. It is also used for cross-platform document interchange, which means that one can open and edit RTF files on any word processor that supports the format. It also helps us to preserve the formatting of your document. This is useful if you want to maintain the same layout and design across different word processor. So you can do that by using this RTF. So there are two requirements which we need to fulfill for the successful running of this RTF is first you need to install Java in your system and BIP plugin should also be installed in your system. When you will install this BIP plugin, what will happen? You will get a publisher tab in your MS Word and we can create report using that tab. That is what is RTF is. Fine, so these are the two requirements. I have already installed this uh, two things in my system. So if you have not installed, you can install this first. Now what we will do is we will uh, go to the instance and I will show how you can prepare report using RTF. So let's go to instance and prepare one sample summarized report on list of supplier. So let's move to the instance now. So here I have logged into the instance. Now go to Navigator. Under Tools, go to Reports and Analytics. Now go to Browse Catalog. So I have already created one report here, which I'm going to use for RTF as well. So I'm just going to uh, use the sample to report. I will click on this edit. After that, go to Advanced tab here. Scroll down a little bit below. Here is the SQL query. You can see that you need to copy this query from select and just copy this in your notepad. I have already did the same, so I'm not repeating this step. You just need to copy and paste this on the notepad, this SQL query. After that, go to Create. Go to data model. Go to diagram, SQL query, give name here. I'm giving like sample. Then data source will be Oracle BI. And what we have copied from there, SQL query, I'm going to paste it here. So this is my SQL query, which I have copied. Now I'm going to paste this. So now let, let's paste it here and say, okay. Now let's rename this. Go to settings, property, give alias here as city, display name also city. Okay. Then my second row will be of country. Go 
then there it will be a name supplier name so i'm giving name only here then the last is supplier site so i'm renaming it as site now go to view data select the required number of rows view now you can click on this table view so here is our data fine now what we will do we will export it after that we will open one word new word file and we will do the rtf there so let's do that now you can see that i have opened one new word file i will go to now publisher tab which came because we have installed bi p plugin so i am going to publisher click on the sample xml xml is nothing but the uh, exported report which we have done in the instance fine go to download this is my xml open download data loaded successfully say okay and i am going to click on this part table now i am going to give the layout as per my requirement of the report like i want to create country wise number of supplier list so i am giving my layout in such a manner and i am giving here in aggregation count and giving the layout just take a preview here so this is how my report is going to look here and okay fine now if you want to add a chart as well here so for that you can go to chart and give count here give name and values and country in labels take a preview if you want to do any editing on graph you can do like you if you want to give any style type of graph you want to create so from here you can select i am taking bar graph only vertical if you want to select any style you can do it like if i will select this apple and preview it so this is how my chart is going to look fine and for further detailing here you can go you can give background color data color data label as your requirement you can create a chart from here right now i'm using this only and saying okay fine now after doing all this thing just click on this rtf so it will ask you to save this file first so i'm just saving it here and as sample 10 save now you can see here the data is reflecting with a graph which we have created so now in this data you can do the formatting like i am going to insert here header and footer insert footer here insert header I'm giving name to my report as suppliers list 
in bold underline italics increasing the font size color if you want to insert any logo here you can also do that right now i'm not using that Fine. So this is how you can insert header and footer in your report. So I have added header and footer. If you want to do any formatting here in this data, you can do like I'm highlighting this country name in bolds and total also. If you want to rename, you can rename also like I'm giving total number of suppliers if you want to add a here you can add like this is the uh, suppliers name so you can give heading here as suppliers name Fine. So, like you want to adjust this graph in a proper manner, just click here. Go to wrap text, behind text, decrease its size. So this is how you can move your chart and if you want to add here as grand total you can add fine so this is how you can create your report. Fine. So what we have did, we have added a header, footer. We have also moved a chart, chart to a proper place. And this chart reflects the country-wise suppliers. Like in Australia, how many suppliers are there? In United States, how many suppliers are there? So this is how you can create a report using RTR. So this is all for today. Thank you.